So 413. So suppose that a single fuel assembly in a nuclear power plant operates for three or 30,000 hours, uh, thermal power of 20 megawatts equals the power thermal. <coughs> It's removed and placed in storage. After one year, you know, it's shipped from their site. So one year after. Estimate at the time of shipment. So we need to find the energy release rate and MEV per second. In the problem statement, does it say MEV to the negative one? Yes. Okay, that's wrong. Yeah. It should be MEV plus one. The uh, gamma and X-ray photons emitted from vision products. So, um, somewhere you can find that there's a 3.121 times 10 to the 16 fissions per second per me per megawatt of thermal power. So you can get you, you know where we find that? Somewhere in appendix G. Uh, I got page uh, 99 footnote that may very well be out of the 495 book. Someone check that real quick. It says, well, at least page 99 says, look at appendix B for the thermal neutron fusion stuff. That says it's 10 to the 10. Yeah, that's also watts. Oh, uh, true that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that. That's what, I, that's what I've written in mind. That works for me. Yeah. So you should get 6.24 6 <coughs> times 10 to the 17 fissions per second. J on page 99, 4, 6, equation 416. That's a gamma, right? That's a case gamma. Mm -hmm. okay. is the fission rate during during operation. So there's values for lambda and alpha j and table G1 for the mechanics. So what what is this value gamma 
I didn't develop that very well. Am I right? Am I right up? I don't know. I just used shield you so. <laughs> Excellent. Get that. Get shield you so. But gamma means something. Is gamma the energy release rate? The emission rate. Okay, emission rate. Okay. The energy emission rate. The energy emission rate. Excellent. So what this does is it's going to break it up into different energy bins and say what amount is at different um, energies. So you can do this two different ways. Method one, you need to uh, interpolate the last line of table 4.9 to obtain gamma total for T naught and T S. And you can find that at T S is equal to three point one five six times ten to the seven seconds using logarithmic interpolation. I didn't do it this way, so you can, but you can do it this way, but it says use log logarithmic interpolation. You can find that this value is approximately equal to 0 0.0493 MeV per second over fissions per second. Thus, the fission product gamma power emission rate is equal to this value um, times P naught. So you get 3.07 3.07 times 10 to the 16 MeV per second. So you multiply this by P naught I did not do it that way. So does has he made should tell available to everybody? Yep. So get that, you use it for this class, you use it for detection, you use it on your exams. Um, it's basically awesome. Uh, and you can use that in there. You can also use values from table G3. And using a simple program, you can find that gamma total is equal to 0 0.0067. And I couldn't tell you why those are different, why that value and that value are different. Um, but the power emission rate, if you multiply that by 0 0.006738, you will get 4.2 times 10 to the 15 MeV per second. And what the what the program does is it tells you that from from 5 to 7.5 MeV, your MeV per second per fissions <coughs> per second. Basically, your MeV per fission, it, and it gives you and it gives you a number, and then it has a different bin, four to five, and it gives you a number, three to four, and it gives you a number. And I think that's and this goes on. Um, 
And you can do a similar thing by using table G3 in the appendix. Um, but if you guys do something like that, I did mine in Excel. I don't know what I was thinking, but I found that that my emission was 4.9 times 10 to the 15. So I was a little bit off on my. So there's a couple of what? Which one's more accurate? Which one's an approximation? Or which one's I couldn't well, tell you. Which one's, one's a better not approximation? Does it say in the book which one's a better approximation? Where does this? This is the same equation for both things, I think. Where did I get? I got gamma from page uh, four six or equation four sixteen. Using shield detail, you get 4.2 times 10 to 15. Right. So I'm going to assume that that's the way Dr. Schultz did it when he made shield detail. Right. Assuming he's smarter than me. <laughs> that's good. That's a good assumption. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, shield detail is going to pull data from a particular library, and different libraries are different, um, or different sets of tables. So maybe this book was written before Shield Util was written, or, the, or vice versa. Maybe tables were updated or changed. Um, there's always stuff like that, cross-section tables and stuff. But, I mean, the two methods that he has on the solutions give different answers. So um, it's some type of approximation. You have to read the section right here to, 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 to know. I couldn't tell you. But anybody have any other questions on this? Yeah. Okay. When's your first exam? I don't know yet. I don't think anyone's asked.